we have to talk about this topic. The fact that ransomware is now asking increasingly for crypto and Bitcoin, other currencies. It's trying to ask for huge ransoms from hospitals, city governments. I mean, we just had a bunch of hacks over the last couple of weeks um, and they all wanted crypto. Um, and, and so there is this idea, I think also that, that this, these cryptocurrencies are making it a little bit easier for ransomware to happen. Um, do, do you feel that way? Um, you know, it's transparent, but it's, but it, it's also hidden, right? Because who knows who owns the wallet? Well, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding in this area. And when somebody's systems are hijacked and held for ransom, and this happened very publicly with the meatpacking company and with the gas pipeline a couple of weeks ago, when these things occur, it's not because of cryptocurrency, it's because these companies themselves had bad security. Yeah. Um, it's like if someone steals your car and then tries to ransom it back and you, you, know, you left the garage unlocked with the key and the ignition and then you blame the existence of money for it. <laughs> you know, it, it's not the fact that someone could pay the ransom that got the car stolen. It's the fact that there wasn't basic security. And a lot of these ransomware attacks, you read in the eighth paragraph that they were using an eight-year-old version of Microsoft Windows, that they didn't have multi-factor authentication, you know, that just the very basic stuff. They never took the time to put into place. And there are trolls on the internet who will just go through thousands of websites until they find one where there isn't any security and think, aha. But the payment of the ransom is quite interesting because on the Bitcoin blockchain, you can trace the money. And there are both governments and private forensic firms who do this. And we did see this story about 10 days ago where the Department of Justice made a very public claim to have recovered 85% of the ransom paid in this pipeline hack. Now, I have a lot of questions. And the first question is, did the government speak truthfully? You know, did they really get that money back or are they just putting that story out there to try to frighten people? And if they did, it must have been either by way of a hack of the malware company itself, there's apparently some Russian organization behind this, or maybe they bribed somebody or you know, somehow got a hold of the private keys to unlock the wallet where the ransom was being held. And absolutely nothing has been said about how the government might've gotten a hold of the keys needed to unlock that wallet. Um, people who are knowledgeable about this are a little bit perplexed by the whole story because it just doesn't add up and either they were extremely sloppy on the hacker side or the government is exaggerating what actually took place. And um, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait until more information comes out. As you said, though, you can trace you know, with a fairly high degree of precision where these crypto assets move. But what you need to know is who controls the wallet, who has the so-called private key that can unlock the wallet. And that requires an entirely different type of detective work that is um, you know, sometimes easier and sometimes not so easy. And I think um, you know, in the future, there's going to be a high premium on people who have the skills to be able to do this kind of tracing and you know, maybe conduct these reverse attacks on hackers and so forth. Um, let's see if these malware things start to slow down. Let's see if... Um, the meeting between Biden and Putin has any kind of effect on getting the Russians to step up their game and police this territory a little bit more. Um, apparently, North Korea is a big player in this area as well. And um, it's hard to believe what you read and to take it at face value without asking a lot of follow-up questions. And I, I certainly have quite a few about the, um, you know, the events of the last several weeks. Mm -hmm.